Good morning, Internet. Welcome back to the Chaotic Committee. As you can see, a whole bunch of stuff is happening. Let me... Eh, the dudes can keep working in the background. So I shipped over some uranium. I was getting all this started and playing around with it. And yeah, stuff wasn't quite working right. So I'm now moving steam turbines. So the steam turbines used to be up here. The reactor was here. I deconstructed it so my dupes would stop delivering and I need to sweep that. Let's make sure I have the sweep set correctly. Comes back over here, manual sweep only. Okay. This automation was actually working out just fine. It was more the steam turbines being up there with a problem because the heat was down here. I'm like, all right, screw it. Let's move the turbines. So that's what my dupes are doing there have been an absolute great working crew, except I had to put in this door because every time this door opened, they would, my sweeper wasn't delivering the uranium. I couldn't figure out why. It's because the dupes were trying to deliver it. So that was a bit of a problem, but we're redoing the power wires, moving the steam turbines, and I think this will work a bit better. Back over here at the main nuclear base, Th this is working out great. I, I am really surprised how fast, how easy this was to set up. These are all running flat out. So I think I want to put in some automation to uh, disable, not the fuel loading, because that never works, but disable this. So I want... I don't think it matters if this is gold. It's only 200 degrees in here. So right there. Over to there. And basically that would just say, if this temperature is above... Oh no, I'll set it so that it says green if it's below like 190 or something reasonable. A whole lot of radiation. We'll see how well the dupes do in lead suits. <laughs> or, you know, he just drops the material on the worst possible place on the ladder. Because, uh, that's normal. Uh, dupes. Okay. Well, he doesn't seem to be complaining about the lead, or the radiation. Why are you hurt? Ellie, were you playing around with the bees? Get over here. So yeah, send a green signal if below 180. There, and now this won't deliver uranium. This will turn off for a while. The temperature will come down. The water will come out. That'll work out great. New printables. Ah, we'll let them finish up on that. Over here, we're just continuing to ruin Nicola's every waking moment. Uh, what are we working on? Like, my goal is to eventually dig all of this down. It's just going to take forever. Let's do those three. That looks like a bit of oxygen got in there. All right. Let the dupes finish up this building, and then we'll be back to rebuild the uh, reactor. All right. They've just about got all this built. I'm also going to clean up some of the material around here. Probably want to do that as well. I know this, these two steam turbines have got one port blocked over here, but that's just kind of the way it fit. I thought about moving it over one, but my dupes kept trying to go up here, so I had to put some mesh tiles in to stop that. And there's still plenty of heat in this nuclear waste. 
Let's make sure I've got all this working correctly. So these all run, fill up that tank, and then come over the top. That steam's below 125. This one always feeds to cool the reactor once I rebuild it. So yeah, I think that will work much better. See, the steam pressure up here is still quite high because that's where the water's coming out. But say I'll get running, that'll cycle around more and I can always dump more water into the system. I had to put in a temp shift plate over here because I ended up with a pool of water. And so nothing was, I wasn't getting any steam. So there's a temp shift plate right there just to heat up that area. Back over here at the main nuclear base. And because I'm pumping so much hot water into this tank, like it's now 40,000 kilograms. It's just an insane amount of water. And don't, oh good, you went dormant. Okay, that will probably help. With that one going dormant, then I'm only feeding it water from this geyser through here. And what I'm thinking about doing is putting in... Putting in a second aqua tuner. So here's the idea. I put in... An aqua tuner. We'll put it somewhere up here. And then I'll put in... A few tanks and then just cycle the water coming out through these tanks until it is below a certain temperature and then send it on. I mean, I've got the power. If I do something like this. All right, let me uh, cue this up and then I'll show you what I'm thinking about. Yeah, just something like this. Something that will rotate through this aqua tuner. Says, you know, if the temperature is below this amount, let it on through. All right, back to the main thing I'm working on. And I got it mostly swept up. A little bit of sandstone over there I'm not too worried about. So now the big one. Ew. Thermium. Let's put it back. This door is turned off, so all my... What do I have over here? Yeah, 800 kilograms, so... Yeah, this base... Not this base. As this radiation is slowly coming up, this thing, you can't rotate it and you can't change which direction it shoots. It only shoots up. Super annoying, but it is what it is. In order to get the angles right, that shot diagonally to there, up to there, over to there, back to there. What are we up to? 600. Okay, so this was at 300 not too long ago. So yeah, as that radiation comes up, it will shoot more. And then I've, I might put in more lead, but I think that'll work. So that's where the uranium's coming from. Now we just need them to bring the thermium back. And speaking of, there's a load of uranium right there. So back over here, this shipping rail is set to be full. And then anything else I can ship over to other bases. Somebody? Okay, so they've delivered... <laughs> How did they only deliver 58 kilograms? Like, where did they even grab that from? Two of them! With all the critters and all the dupes, the saves are taking a very long time. Alright, I'm gonna pause you for this. This always takes forever. And we are almost done. I'm having the dupes put a door in up here, which... That will become obvious why here in a second. Everybody out. Alright, dupes are out of the way. I know I just did not a save, but we're gonna save again. 
And I was wrong. For some reason, I thought reactors used one kilogram a second. No, one kilogram a cycle, but they use uh, more than that. It's more like 10 a cycle. So let's hook you back up. So this is set to 195 seconds off, 20 seconds open. We load three kilograms into the container. That door closes, that door opens, you feed the reactor. That pipe is hooked up. Once it gets enough nuclear waste and hot water, it then drops. I put this tile down here to make all the steam evaporate right in the middle. And now for the fun part. Oh, baby. That's why this door is here. Just to try to keep the dupes from coming into this area. Just... No, don't go in here. <laughs> you really don't need to. Yeah, it's slightly more than I expected, but that's not too bad. <laughs> Just look at that gloriousness. That is a super coolant. Doing its thing. And so if at any point I want to turn this off... Wait, how did you get that much uranium in you? That's set to three kilograms. There should only be three in there. You shouldn't be able to reach through two doors. Yes, yeah, so you're not even grabbing any. Let's set this to zero. I did not realize that that loaded up everything. Okay, well this is all going to get pretty darn hot. But you see, by dumping all the water on the reactor, the reactor is nice and cool. Eventually, this steam will get up there. I just wonder if I don't have enough of a gap. Just the act of it pumping steam out will help move it. And just, yeah, the temperatures and pressures are bouncing all over the place over here. And most of the water in the cooling should be over here drips down to there, and then it should flow this way. Ah, it seems to be getting there. Okay. I like it for now, but right now I just gotta wait for this thing to use up all of that uranium. That is just way too much. That's done. Automation wire. I mean, do I really care if... Yeah, send a green signal. Green lets it through if you are below... I don't know, 25. if you are above 25. 
Maybe I need a bridge to do this better. Oh, I guess I don't really care if the Aqua Tuner's turning on and off. No, because each time it does that, it doesn't quite cool it down correctly. Okay, let me redo the piping. I need a bridge. Oh, I figured out my mistake. I was trying to run them both through the liquid shutoff valve when really I should bridge over, combine them here, then they can feed into that tank. That way the aqua tuner can keep running. And it should help even out the temperature and slowly drive it down. In the meantime, since no new water is going into here, this temperature has already come down two degrees. Perfect. Kind of curious if this is going to be able to grab from over here. It shouldn't be able to. It wasn't before. But I think I gotta wait for a lot more uranium to get out of here. But... Yeah, now these are running. Okay. Now we've got power. On my next base, if I want to put one of these up near the top so I can put the uh, rad bolt collector up near space. Having it stuck in the middle of the base is uh, no good. But we should have just enough, almost enough nuclear waste to start pumping it here shortly. Now that this is all running, I think my steam pressure is low. And that is an easy fix. Let's do that. That. Now, this will screw up the steam turbines for a little bit, but there's more than enough water on this planet. Yeah, see what I was saying? The water kind of collects down here. That'll be fixed shortly. There we go. Now we got more steam pressure. Damage overheated. Oh, the liquid reservoir. But these are full of what is now colder water. That's the air temperature in here is warm. I thought having the colder water in there would help it. Okay, well, let's swap them for something better. I even made the shutoff out of steel thinking that that would overheat. Ah, uh, mistakes happen. Even accidentally deconstructed some pipes I wasn't supposed to. grabbing in there. Yeah, this place holds a lot of heat. And now we got some steel reservoirs and why did, why does Sticky say he's hurt? He is hurt. Oh, this one's only set to 70. That's why I couldn't see him. And we'll leave that water there. That'll help it exchange heat. Why are you 100 degrees? Oh! Liquid bridge. Liquid bridges exchange heat. What I need to do is I need to do that. You need to go there. 
I always forget about that, that a bridge with one end in the hot will make the other side hot. Well, that makes much more sense. They built the bridge fast enough, but they haven't built the tile yet, so it's heating all this up. Much better. Alright, a few missteps, that should now be working. It also means I'm no longer injecting heat into the thing the tanks are working on, sitting on, so that it should cool this down faster. And we can... Okay, I'm much happier with that. Okay, it is not loading in more. I gotta think of some better op better automation for this. But first off, I don't need these solar panels anymore. I think I want to do the same automation like I have over here where I'm sensing off of the battery tower in order to tell uh, whether or not to load in more uranium. So that is the next step. Just over here looking at the automation on how I want to do this. And I think what I want to control is this sweeper. This is the sweeper that loads the smart. So if I put a green signal onto this wire, then that stays red. So I do a not gate. Like that. Which means I'm gonna have to open the door. So we don't want our dupes to deliver. We can do that, and now the dupes won't deliver. I mean, even in lead suits, they're not particularly happy standing next to the reactor. But they didn't die. Yet. No, oh, build it and get out of there. Done. Get out. Oh. <laughs> yeah. They got a little sick. I think once they go to the bathroom a few times, they should be fine. Aw. He's even got the, uh... Radiation spots. <laughs> yeah, he was fine though. Yeah, so now I'm sensing power off of you. And you are not connected. Stop puking everywhere, you'll feel better. Yeah, more puking. What's interesting is radiation vomiting is not, major radiation sickness doesn't show up under sick dupes yet. So that's probably gonna be an update later. I wonder how long it takes for that to clear off.
accumulate rats, blah, 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 and cure, recover when using the toilet. Okay, so they just gotta get through another cycle of going to the bathroom, and then they'll be cured. I didn't make any, uh, ride, yeah, ride pills over here. Though I do have 8,000 on my other base, I should probably send some. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Of course, by the time those rad pills get here, my dupes will be all better. Yeah, stop it, come back here. We got 220. And the rad pills are being delivered over here. So if I set this to 59. Oh, that's how I did it. You clear this, you change that back to there. I forgot how I made it launch again. Oh, launch cost is 100. You don't have enough. Let's continue to mop from the dupes. There are rad pills on the way. Make sure there's no... Uh, wacky polluted water where I don't want it. Like, by the food. Alright, well you just hit the bathroom again. And you're down to 100. So, we're getting there. What are you down to? You were at 300 before. 171. Yay, my dupes are gonna survive. Well, I'm gonna call that good. Uh, still might need more steam pressure in here. And there's gonna be a lot more mopping. But rad pills are on the way. Yeah, I think... Oh, you are not pumping because I didn't finish the piping. Because I got distracted. Okay, let me finish the piping. We'll get the dupe sealed up. Then we'll be back uh, probably next time. Anyway, I hope you all just have a wonderful day. And we'll see you in the next episode.